No, Yanoue has already made a name for himself as the monster, but what do other boxing pros really think of him? Let's find out. Manny Pacquiao believes that there's something special in Inoue, and he stated, Inoue has great speed and lots of power behind his punches. He's a special fighter. Jamel Herring sees how Inoue is working his way through different weight classes, and he respected that after Inoue's victory over Stephen Fulton. Jamel tweeted, Inoue is running through weight classes like a prime Manny Pacquiao. Credit to cool boy risking it all. He'll eventually bounce back. Teddy Atlas thinks that Inoue would have fit well in any of the golden eras of boxing. Teddy stated, I have always favored the 1930s to 1960s, 1970s to 1980s as boxing's best. But Inoue would have fit with the greatest of any era. He's the full package, which consists of speed, power, smarts, technique, brains, instinct, timing, and controlled ferocity. Simply special. Sergio Mora thinks that Inoue is a nightmare with that power. Mora tweeted, one of the scariest punchers in boxing. Mike Coppinger believes that Inoue is going to have to move up in weight classes if he's going to meet any sort of real challenge since he's mowing through his division so well. Mike tweeted, Noya Inoue isn't simply the best boxer in the world. He's an all-time great, still adding chapters to his legendary career. Clearly, he'll have to keep moving up in weight to meet a challenge. Enjoy the monster while he's here. Dev Sani thinks there's only one type of bantamweight that can handle Inoue. Dev tweeted, Turns out Inoue's frightening power does indeed carry up to 122 pounds, maybe even beyond. Genuinely think he would absolutely destroy all non-Queensbury super bantamweights. Bob Arum simply believes that Inoue is the best pound-for-pound pound in the world. Bob tweeted, Naoya Inoue is a once-in-a-multi-generational talent, the best pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. When predicting the fight against Fulton, Sean Porter explained why he thinks Inoue is too much for a lot of fighters. That's what Inoue is, you know? And yeah. um, I think I think some fighters get spoiled by the knockout. Some fighters get spoiled by win after win after win. They kind of uh, lose, lose track of themselves, uh, whether that's training or maybe not coming to the fight mentally as prepared as they should be. I don't think no. Uh, excuse me. I don't think Inoue is the type of fighter that, no matter what he just did to No Nito, I don't think he's going to come to the ring any less than who he's been, um, in, in in this present time. All that being said, the monster is a nightmare for Fulton. Yeah. Oh, you think so? I think so because because of his length, and or Inoue because of Inoue's. Uh, length in his in his size. I think that even though he's a, in a lower division, I think that he would fill out at 126, and I think that uh, he 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 he'd be a problem. Five years ago, Lou Devella talked about Inoue's goat status, and he tweeted, "If you're one of those boxing fans who's hung up on pound for pound ratings, and Inoue isn't on your list, amend it right now." This young man is a beast, and before it's over, will likely establish himself as one of the GOAT from the land of the rising sun. Well, five years later, Lou was able to back up his previous claim after Inoue beat Stephen Fulton. Lou tweeted, Wrote this five years ago. Five years later, the monster is undoubtedly the greatest Japanese fighter of all time, the GOAT. And at least for five days, Naoya Inoue is number one on my pound-for-pound -pound list. Fulton is real good, but that wasn't a fight. It was an exercise in hashtag boxing dominance. Claressa Shields made sure to check in on Fulton's status, but she recognized Inoue's raw power. Shields tweeted, Glad cool boy alright. He dared to be great, but Inoue is different. Power, speed, and IQ. Wow. Shakur Stevenson made sure to congratulate Inoue after his recent victory as well. Shakur tweeted, Great fight, monster. Real sharp. Even Damian Lillard thinks that it's time for Inoue to move up in weight classes. Damian tweeted, Time for Inoue to move up. Lee Wood has sparred the monster, and he doesn't think that he'll have a proper fight until he moves up in weight. Yeah, there's looking for sparring partners. Um, as they said, when I got out there, there's looking for like, kind of the... Uh the British style, the British pattern, they said. Uh, everyone, every different parts of the world have different, different styles and patterns of fighting. Um, they said uh, they was looking for some kids at a similar height, because obviously McDonald is, is quite big for the weight, so the nearest is, is my weight, which is featherweight. So uh, 
the quarter few of us out there. I'm not in a rush to go back. The food wasn't amazing. I didn't really uh, get used to it, but um, experience-wise, it was gold. Um, yeah, he's a really good fighter. I think he can carry his power up to my weight, maybe super featherweight. Um, I'm confident he'll win the Super Series. Um, I don't think the Wicked's have got enough on him. He's got too much power and too much about him. Um, I don't think he's going to come in a proper fight to, to probably grant him weight off as a way at least. Mike Tyson couldn't be more impressed by Inouye, and he even compared him to another great boxer. Mike stated, That's a mean You're going to see this bad he doesn't look like much. He's better than Manny Pacquiao, man. Pacquiao was built like that, just as good. He's vicious, the monster. That's a badass guy he beat, too. He broke him down. Ooh, break him. Ooh, the monster. He beat him so easy. Oh, I love it. The monster. He's a mean little. Lamont Roach Jr. doesn't understand how people don't think Inoue should be on the pound for pound list. Roach tweeted, OMFG. Inoue, really that? LOL, you play and keep asking why he's up on the P4P list. Steven Espinoza really thinks that NOA might have a chance of moving up and challenging Gervonta Davis now too. Steven stated, You never know, it sounds a bit crazy, but it's only 13 pounds more. I'd love to see Tank versus NOA. After that performance versus Steven Fulton, I wouldn't put anything out of his reach. Rai Salim believes that Inoue has explosive power, but he still thinks that he has enough power to beat him. Alim stated, As far as fighting the winner, I would love to fight Inoue. I think that's an explosive, crowd-friendly fight that I would love to have, and unlike Fulton, I believe I have the power to put him down. Nonito Donaiti has admitted that Inoue was the toughest opponent that he's faced. When it comes down to a lot of things, you know, I think the best guy that I faced, and uh, maybe perhaps if I was younger, it might be a different story, but at the moment of, of who I am in this time, I, I would say Inoue is, is, is the, the toughest that I've, that I've faced, or the strongest that I've faced. You mentioned Inoue is, is probably potentially the best fight that you've faced in your career. What is it about him that gives you that distinction? I think it's like facing the younger me. You know, there's just a lot of a lot of similarities in terms of power, explosiveness, um, and and sometimes intelligence. You know, um, but I think a lot of it is uh, is given the um, the similarities is like is what makes it more difficult. Stephen Fulton had big expectations for his fight against Inoue, but it didn't end up going his way. Stephen had stated, "I feel like the power he has is not going to matter to me." The power may matter to the fans because they're looking at the records, but who's he fought in my style? Who's he fought? We've seen everyone he's faced come to him and try to dog him out and get hit with some crazy shot. They haven't seen him fight someone who can mix it up. I have a style for every fighter. They're all gonna be speechless after this fight. And speechless they were. The fight even drew attention from fighters in the UFC as Matt Brown commented on NOA's win. Matt stated, bro, anyway, holy shit, this dude is so good. An absolute masterpiece against the guy that was supposed to derail him. Inoue is the truth. Luis Neri is another fighter who believes that he could take on Inoue, and he explains why. Luis stated, We're looking for Inoue. We think it's a big fight, and we're going to finish him. I see the fight ending by knockout. He's a fighter that stands in front of you and is brave, and I do the same thing. So it'll be a knockout. I'm here to fight anyone that's out there, but we would like Inoue. Jason Maloney has faced in a way before, and he explained what it's like to be hurt by the monster. Jason stated, I didn't see the punches. Both times he hurt me and then put me down. They were just so fast. If you were trying to move away and create some distance for yourself, his closing speed off that first step where he would just explode into range and let his hands go was incredible. Once he gets into that, I guess, killer mindset, where he's just reckless and lets his hands go, and lets them go with bad intentions, he's very hard to stop. I went in there with intentions of winning the fight and believing I could win the fight, but he's probably even better than I expected once you're in the ring with him. Paul Butler is also faced in a way in the ring, and he had a similar take on his experience. Paul stated, he sort of pushed me around into places of the ring where he wanted me to be, and I'm quite smart, and I know what he was doing, so I just moved my feet that little bit quicker just to get out of them certain situations, but it's his presence in there. I knew if he hit me with two or three or I switched off, it was game over. 
He started dropping his hands, the hands started going behind his back, and I think he was trying to make me change something. He's trying to make me change so I open up a little bit more. My elbow's tucked in, but he goes right round the side. When the ref did wave it, I still had to stay down. I literally couldn't breathe. It was sickening. In a way, it would be a dream fight for Javonta Davis. Davis stated, I like, who's the guy from Japan? In a way, yeah, that would be a fun fight and it would be technical, but I think I would be too big for him. But it would be like a dream fight. I like that fight. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.